Ladies and gentlemen, now we have our featured presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to today's Society of Decision Professionals Learning Exchange. My name is Hilda Churekchen, and I have the pleasure of introducing today's presentation, Decision Analysis, Decision Engineering. I would like to introduce you to the speakers you will be hearing from today. Jim Matheson is a world-recognized leader in the development and application of decision analysis. At SRI, he co-founded and was a managing director of Strategic Decisions Group. Jim regularly teaches courses and supervises graduate students at Stanford, where he was awarded his PhD. He is a fellow with the Society of Decision Professionals and a fellow of the Institute for Operations Research and Management Science in Florence. With David Matheson, he co-authored the highly acclaimed book, The Smart Organization, Creating Value Through Strategic R&D. Jim, welcome to today's learning exchange. Thank you very much. Um, Our moderator for today's presentation is Burke Robinson. Burke is a consulting professor of management science and engineering at Stanford University, where he teaches several undergraduate and graduate courses. Burke has worked for over 30 years with the top management teams and boards of many leading companies worldwide, helping them make complex decisions about strategy and change in their organizations. He was a director of Strategic Decisions Group, as well as a director at the Institute for the Future. Currently, Burke is the CEO of his own consulting business. Burke, welcome to today's learning exchange. Thank you very much. I'm pleased to be here. Burke will be facilitating your questions throughout the presentation and raise some to our speaker to address live during at, at the end of the webinar. And now, without any further delay, I'd like to turn today's presentation over to our featured speaker, Jim Matheson. Jim, you have the floor. Thank you very much. Um, I was just listening to open re opening remarks about all that's now going on in the society for decision professionals and uh, the website, decision quality website, and, um, and the coordination with a group called the DAAG. Um, I just get, want to give you a historical note. Uh, at SDG, we started the Decision Quality Association, which was a group of about a dozen companies sponsoring um, re development in software and decision quality. And we had a sort of users group that met regularly. That group spun off and became DAG. So things come out. I'm glad to see it surviving and, and very well. Um, one other historical note. Um, the title of my talk is Decision Analysis Equals Decision Engineering. And I have always thought about it as decision engineering. Uh, a, a little known historical fact, I may have written about this somewhere, but uh, Ron Howard, who came to Stanford from MIT at about the time he defined decision analysis, um, then went back to Harvard as a visiting professor for a sabbatical for a quarter. And I went to visit him there. I gave a talk at Harvard and then was walking through the campus with Ron Howard and Howard Rafa and discussing what the title of the profession should be. And Howard Rafa had lectured at Stanford a while back and had a book called Lectures on Decisions Under Uncertainty. Anyway, we were talking, and Howard Rafa was dead set against decision analysis. He said, analysis is really bad. It's too techy and blah, blah. And, and we sort of lost, thought we lost the argument. I also argued for decision engineering, and Ron Howard's view was, well, engineering means manipulation. He doesn't want to call it decision manipulation. Now, personally, I'm an engineer. I don't take it that way. And I wish he had made the decision to um, name it decision engineering, but he didn't. Anyhow, we about fell off our chair when Howard Rafe had changed the title of his book to Decision Analysis. So um, we thought we lost, but we didn't. I think we're stuck with the name, but maybe not. I think as the world progresses, maybe the name will shift at least for certain. 